Okay, this video is going to be a little bit different AV mod. I'm still using the same amplifier, but instead of having the three RCA jacks on the back of the console, we're going to use this phone connector. Um, it's like a TRS uh, true three pole connector, which means I can use this cord, which has a headphone stop connector on one end, and then the three RCA jacks on the other. So what we're going to do is remove the heat sink, two screws on the bottom, and one screw on the 7805. connector is going to go right where the RF RCA jack is so we need to move the remove the modulation box and to make it easy I usually use my flush cutters these are very excellent I highly recommend these to anybody doing any mods and what I do is I actually clip as much of the solder and post as I can off the three mount tabs for the modulation box and then there are three little connectors for audio video and power and I'll take my solder sucker this is just a, a real cheap like maybe three or four dollar solder sucker it's, just, it's spring loaded you hit this button it pops out and it sucks solder up it works excellent. So I'll just heat the three connectors till they melt. The solder sucker on there. You can see it works fine. Just make sure they're free. They are. Then I'll take a knife or something and get under the modulator and pry it upwards. And then I'll take some needle nose pliers and get in there. And basically I'll twist it forward once I get it up and it just pops right out. Real simple. Now clean up a little bit here. The connector is going to fit right into that hole perfectly, but then I also have the 3-4 select hole open. And usually what I'll do is I'll just take some black tape and cut a little piece of it off and just cover the hole, keep dust out, keep bugs out, whatever. Just like that. Um, on my headphone connector. Um, this is just going to be a dual mono mod, not a true stereo. So I've actually soldered left and right together on the connector and audio is available right there, right where we took the RF modulator out. So I'll, I'll just, I just, uh, this is actually uh, a leg off of a capacitor and resistor that I cut off a long time ago. <clears throat> so uh, after I get the AV mod wired to the connector and shove it back through, I just poke that down into the audio hole and solder it on. So I'll solder on the AV mod. I've already cut and lifted pin 21, you can see that in another video.
There's our power. through the hole and connect the composite video and ground to the connector. And uh, you want to be careful about your pinout. Um, I have two different cords that I use in um, which one is composite, ground, and right and left are different between the two cords. So you want to be sure to solder all your four connections to the proper place. Let's see. Okay, now I can just feed it back in through the hole, and it just snaps in place. And on the back side, I'll grab my leads for the audio, and the audio is always uh, the hole that's furthest in. I can actually spin connector over force that lead through make sure nothing's touching solder it down Excess. And we can put on the, the heat sink back on. back in the bottom shell. Our 
the wire under the cover. This is just RF shielding. It doesn't need to go back on, but it's not hurt anything to put it back on there. Now when I usually, when I mount my little AV board to this side, I'll clip off that little plastic nub and I'll actually turn the board upside down to mount it there just so that my leads are facing the right direction. Tuck everything away pretty nice. That's about it. product. One nice thing about this mod is the sticker stays where it's at and it looks uh, it looks a little more factory. Let's give it a test. Okay this is the finished console with the headphone stock connector on the back. And as you can see, it works just fine. This is the exact same video quality as you'll get with the 3RCA connector.